probably got interested in engineering at an early age, controlled cars and toys, things like that. Um, and I was always taking them apart and rebuilding them, making Frankenstein toys out of two things, you know, um, trying to make them faster or better or bigger. So the first Star Wars film I watched was actually Empire Strikes Back. I was probably about eight or something like that. And I remember watching the film and thinking, I have no idea what's going on. However, there was one scene that stood out, which was these four-legged machines walking across the snow. They're called Atats. And I walked out of the cinema going, machines that walk. I couldn't, honestly couldn't believe it. I'd never thought about that before. And that was pretty much it. That inspired me and that, was, that set me going, I think, on this fascination with walking machines. But after about a year at university, I realised I wasn't really academically inclined. I was much better at learning on my own and practically. Uh, and I got offered a job uh, with a film company as a model maker and I left. I'm not saying leave university, but <laughs> it worked for me. I was on um, a television advert one day for Jim Henson's Creature Shop and I was bored on set and I just thought, you know, there wasn't much to do. And I started to think about walking machines again and I've, I've never built one, so I thought maybe give it a go. And it started there and I started building small machines about so big, um, hexapods, so six legs. Uh, and eventually I built about 20 odd machines uh, of, of varying size and different approaches to them. Uh, and then I got approached by a company that had seen a YouTube video of my hexapods in action. Basically I got uh, some investment to build a two ton machine to see what the issues would be and whether we could commercialise that side of things. Um, but also as a creative engineering project at the same time. A simple breakdown of how it works is you have a diesel engine, which is the power plant. Uh, that's connected to a hydraulic pump, which supplies hydraulic fluid around the system. On each leg there are uh, three actuators, hydraulic act actuators, that move each joint of the leg. And then basically a computer uh, monitors the position of each leg, of each joint. Um, and that information is fed back to a central computer. And that computer knows how to move the legs. In a, in a gate, sort of in a sequence. So I don't have to think about that. In the, the operator, all I have to do is push forwards on a joystick and the computer commands the legs into position and hopefully it never trips up. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Mantis was both high point and a low point, to be honest. Um, you know, it was a dream project, but uh, it was a really difficult build. And, and I knew very little about hydraulics when I started this project. And this is a really complex hydraulic uh, machine. So that was a huge learning curve, um, which I found fascinating. But you know, there was massive low points in it as well, because you know, it didn't always go right. Uh, a lot of the time I was working on my own, so everything that went wrong I had to fix. There was no one else I could just go, oh, maybe you could sort that out for me, I had to do it. Um, and then since then, I guess the high point for me was probably working on Star Wars Episode 7, because you know, as a kid I loved Star Wars, and Star Wars was part of the reason I got fascinated in walking machines, so it's kind of come full circle. So. Uh, my younger self, I, there's no way that they could believe it, to be honest. I can't imagine uh, I would have thought I'd end up working on a film and building a giant walking machine. You know, I hadn't considered engineering at that, th that young age. Um, and in fact, we won an award for um, our work on BB-8 for Star Wars, myself and another engineer. And uh, we had a very nice email from J.J. Abrams, the director, congratulating us. And I sent him back a picture, which was me on Christmas Day with my granddad. I was about 11 years old and I'm pulling an ATA out of its box, you know, its walking machine. And that was my inspiration. And I sent it off to J.J. and he sent me uh, an email back saying he's got the same picture, you know, <laughs> on Christmas Day. So, yeah, amazing. <laughs>